A Virginia Beach private school had some work done to its playground, but they say they were left with a big mess. Yeah, a contractor put down rubber mulch, and everyone now is seeing black. Ten in your sides, Jason Marks talked to the school's president. And Jason, she feels devastated by this. Chris, absolutely. You know, she paid a lot of money for what she thought would help keep the kids safe, but now it's caused nothing but headaches. To not get this resolved is extremely, extremely frustrating. It's so upsetting. Playgrounds are meant to be fun, but for administration at Courthouse Academy in Virginia Beach, this playground has turned out to be anything but. It's devastating. School director Kim Pomeris originally had wooden mulch around the playground equipment, but decided to make a change after parents complained it caused a mess. She decided to go with a rubber mulch instead. I was approached by someone who said that they could solve my problem. They could put down uh, rubber mulch. Pomeris told the contractor she wanted the mulch to be the type that didn't rub off. But what she got has rubbed her the wrong way. They go home with it, black faces, black hands, ruined clothes. Um, it's far, far worse than the wood mulch ever was. There's no way to stop clothes and shoes from turning black. Toys are no match either. Yeah, I mean, you can see it right there. This is... It's you, black. You can see the black. It's, uh, it's completely black. Pomeris feels like the $10,000 she spent went down the drain. Money she had to borrow. These parents and these children should not have this happen and not... <laughs> to not be able to fix it for them. <sighs> Pomeris tells Ted on her side the contractor stopped answering her calls and now she feels she has nowhere to turn. She's not having any fun at all. I feel horrible, horrible not being able to take care of these children in the way that I feel I should. And we have not decided to yet name the contractor. We do know who he is and we did reach out to him and we're hoping that he returns our calls or does the right thing. Of course, we'll keep you posted if we don't hear back. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.